Hi everybody, my name is Badger Pete, and today we're going to learn the art of cooking on the Smoky Joe. So come on in, let's take a look at a couple things that we're going to need. Obviously we're going to need the Smoky Joe, uh, made in Illinois, one of the top-notch uh, grills around. It's dynamite, compact, goes for camping. Today we're going to use it right in our backyard. We're going to be cooking some steaks, some sausage, chicken, and uh, it's dynamite. Some vegetables on the grill. A couple things we're going to need, obviously a wire brush here to clean off the grill, some tongs, spatula, this is a little bit overdone, don't need it that big, but we're going to take this, we're going to need skewers to put our vegetables on, we're doing uh, some Mexican zucchini today, some tin foil for our potatoes, and of course some fuel. Uh, today we're using uh, Kingsford uh, hickory. Okay, one of the great things about the Smoky Joe is it starts very quickly. I'm going to take off the grill. I've already started these grills, the, the, the uh, coals here. Uh, one of the things you don't need is lighter fluid. You can simply either light one of the uh, briquettes and fire it up because we're only using a handful of coals here. I actually just used one little piece of newspaper, stuck it in the bottom, and I create a wick uh, through the vent. Simply light it up there, and it, it, uh, it, the, the flame lights up a couple briquettes, and then you can add some more as you're needed. We're not going to get cooking right away because we've got to prepare some food, so we'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to hold this. Right now they're nice and hot. I, I need a couple minutes to prepare the food. So let's go into the kitchen, and we'll uh, take a look at what we're cooking. Ready to get our uh, meat on the grill. We've got a couple things going. went to the market today. We've got these beautiful ribeyes. You can see a nice a lot of marbling with the fat here. And we've already pre-seasoned these. I'll show you exactly. We're kind of working backward. I'm going to show you exactly what we put on these things. But we don't really have to show you how we do it. You simply just do it. We'll show you the ingredients. We also have some nice Italian sausage here. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken these beautiful ribeyes, beautiful marbling in here. And we've simply done, used six simple ingredients. We've got a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes if you like them. It's, uh, they're, they're very hot, so don't use them too, uh, uh, too much. Um, it'll add a lot of flavor and also have a nice little zing. These can be omitted if you don't like it uh, to pop, but it really helps out uh, the meat. Uh, simple salt, some pepper, uh, onion powder, little paprika, and this is a special sauce called Badger Pete's Special Seasoning, which we don't uh, give the ingredients out to that. We also coat the, uh, coat the meat with uh, some uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is uh, Sicilian, a fantastic brand. It's dynamite. A little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. It adds a little uh, zing to the, to, the, uh, to the meat. We also use some uh, balsamic vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar as well, uh, but balsamic works. Okay, and then for the vegetable, what we're going to do is uh, use a little bit of variety. These are called Mexican zucchinis, and we simply uh, uh, fill a pan with some olive oil. Uh, here and some vinegar, a little salt and pepper. That's about all you need. You can add a little bit uh, of Pete's uh, uh, special salt, uh, Badger Pete's special salt, and that works well. We simply coat the vegetables, and we're actually going to put an onion on here too. We're going to skewer that. Uh, we're going to throw garlic right on top of the grill and uh, get that going. Anytime you use garlic, it's fascinating. It just it awakens the aroma of the grill, and it also awakens the uh, your senses, so you can uh, taste that uh, meat and it tastes even better. What we've done here is we've simply uh, skewered the filling the skewer and then simply slotting it. We don't have to show you. And then the last thing we're going to do is just take a, a simple potato and we're going to stab it, and it opens up some of the pores in the potato. And we'll get that going. And we simply just wrap it into a tin foil here. And we're going to put the potato, we're going to be cooking this somewhat at the same time. We're going to put this right on top of the coals. And we'll see that once we open up the grill and get things going. We have another one over here. And we're ready to go. Okay, now that we have all of our utensils selected, we've got our meats, we've got our vegetables all seasoned and oiled, uh, we're ready to take a look at the art of grilling on the Smoky Joe. So we're going to remove this. Our coals look fantastic. What I'm going to do is just set that down. And you can see that uh, the, the, the optimal way to cook on the Smoky Joe is making sure you use the vents. The vents we've got underneath and we've got the vents on top. So what we're trying to do here is make sure that we control the fire. That's the key to any uh, charcoal grilling, but especially on the Smoky Joe because the coals are a little bit closer than they are on some of the large Weber's. So what we've done to make this a little bit easier, instead of cooking on the ground, we've got a little pedestal here. And we're simply going to just take the coals and spread them out all the way across. And just look at, there you could count the number of bri the briquettes on here. There's only about, oh I'd say, 20, 30 of them. 
that uh, is going to do a fine job cooking all of the vegetables and uh, and meat. So the first thing we're going to do is take our potatoes and throw them right on top of the hot coals and we're going to let them simply cook and these are going to take a little bit longer than everything else so we're just going to uh, close the grill right now as we wait for some more guests to arrive. Okay so we're going to put the grill on right now and we're simply going to uh, get this all nice and hot and we're going to clean it off, uh, get it get it nice and hot so the uh, grill can be easily scraped. Alright, the grill's nice and hot now, so we're simply just going to scrape off some of the residue that we had in the last time we used the smoky, which is about almost every day in the summer here. It's just really convenient to use, and it uh, again uses a limited amount of fuel, but gives you a heat that you can't get from the gas grill. Again, remember, you've got to use the vents because uh, they're, they can spark with fire uh, and if you don't use the vents the fire is going to control all of your food. You, you want to control the food rather than the fire controlling the food. So we're going to uh, wait for our guests to arrive and in the meantime we're going to put the cover on as we uh, uh, prepare to uh, put the steaks on. Since our guests have called and they said they're going to be a little bit late we're going to take a little uh, sneak test and see how things are going. We're going to throw Italian sausage on this and you're going to see how fast this cooks and how nice it cooks. We're also going to put a little uh, bulb of garlic on here and we'll have that as a taste test before our guests arrive. Put the cover, you can let it uh, go for a couple minutes, we'll get the flame back up. That's what we want, we want to get a nice heat. And then once the flame gets up to a certain uh, point uh, and the sausage is almost done, that's when we put the cover on because the cover will finish up with the smoke. But right now what we want is that flame to come up and you can feel, you can put your hand over here where it's not so hot because we have the cover on. Once we take that cover off, this is going to get intense heat and that's what exactly what we want for our steaks. And you see I've shrunk and now, okay, we're going to look at this. Yeah. Go. Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks to this grill, this Weber Smokey Joe grill, that it's just great. Yeah, okay. So, okay, and one more thing. These steaks have been marinated for quite a while, so these are going to be really good. Now we're going to flip the garlic over. Let's see if this did turn out the same. Oh, whoa. Oh. That is great. Wow. Oh, one more thing about this awesome grill. Okay, the Weber Smoky Joe, it, o it also, it's like, there's all these mosquitoes out here, and it, it kills them all, which is really good, because I'm getting all these bites. So, yeah, that's another good thing about this grill. All right, our guests just arrived, and we are going to finish up with our uh, with our steaks. What we're first going to do is we're going to take this grill off and flip these potatoes. Flip them on one side. You can see how the holes are nice and red hot. We're going to get this grill back on. just takes a second. And... Time for our ribeyes. Here we go. We're going to put them on hot and fast. And you're going to see some beautiful marks that we're going to get on these ribeyes. But you can see the, uh, the space on this Smoky Joe. There's plenty of room for six steaks right here. Beautiful. A lot of room here. You don't need that much space. You really don't when you got the Smoky Joe. We're going to throw our sausage on here, and then once the steaks are finished, we're going to uh, throw those vegetables on, and we'll be ready to go just when our guests get here. Okay, Badger Pete loves his meat cooked medium rare. We're going to flip these over, and again, we cooked it the longest side on this side. This one could be moved over a little bit, and we're going to uh, we're going to cool this grill down simply by putting the top of the uh, of the grill on top, and we're going to cool those embers down, it's going to cook nice and smoke's going to get attack that meat and it's going to be fantastic. And there you go, they are to cooking on the Smoky Joe. This is the best dollar for dollar, pound for pound grill you can get on the market.